Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new reaction video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the scalding hot Darjeeling? Hi everyone, hello, 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 hello. So, oh my gosh, welcome back. Got some fun things to tell you. So first of all, first of all, thank you, thank, thank you for all the love and support recently. You guys have been wonderful. But I do, do, do have a brand new merchandise out. Finally, my store is up and running. It's a brand new thing. I'm using a different website now. So we have three new designs. We have a new trot along bitch one. We have a new all aboard the trigger train and we also have and that's the Darjeeling. I'm absolutely in love with them. So if you would like to buy any of my merch, there is a link down below in the description as it normally would be. Go have some fun if you would like to. That is wonderful. So thank you, thank, thank you for all the support you do give me. I'm also giving my bedroom a bit of a revamp. I put the TV on the wall. I want to get a shelf here to put some more lights along here. I cannot wait. That's really, really exciting. My background's going to look really fun. But anyway, today we're back for a piece has gone right video. I thought, you know what? I've been I've been gone for like an extra video. So let's come back with something positive. So we're going to look at some gorgeous piercings, some gorgeous piercing thing gone right. Hit the like button, subscribe, but... <laughs> let's not beat around the bush, Watley, eh? And get on with these piercings gone right. Oh my God. A beetle ear. I mean, each to their own. <laughs> But no ma'am, no thank you. I uh, trot along bitch, that's not happening. Oh, uh, oh gross. Oh, why would you want a big beetle hanging off your ear? Oh, I don't like it. Imagine if you didn't tell people and someone actually freaks out because they think you've actually got like some like dung beetle like trying to eat your ear. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I don't know if I would, uh, this is definitely not something <laughs> I would want. <laughs> oh, beetle juice scales, absolutely not. I mean, it's unique though. We can definitely, definitely all agree that it's unique. Oh gosh, do you remember these? I mean, obviously we're gonna be here looking at the dermal piercings, but do you remember these? Like, in, literally in like 2008, every single like emo person had one of these like tattooed in them. You would, there was literally no way that anyone's getting tattoos in like the late 2000s. They didn't end up having one of these tattoos, these like stars. It definitely was one of those sort of like trendy sort of fad tattoos that happened in like the late 2000s, but I'm sure people are probably still trying to get them now. But do you remember these tattoos? I'm sure some of you who watch me probably have some of these star tattoos back from the emo days go. They have dermal piercings. I'm assuming the dermals are not surface piercings around the whole star. I mean, it's cool. It looks nicely healed. It doesn't look gross or whatever. But I will say it's probably going to reject relatively fast because of where they are. They're quite close to each other. And I just feel like they're not going to last very long. But for what it is now, it does look cool. But I, I, yeah, I'm just thinking about the future with these kind of stuff. But I mean... No one gets surface piercings, you expect them to last forever. Although, if you're Joe Exotic, you're going, I'm gonna wait till the very last minute. Okay, so this person has, I'm gonna sort of blur half of it, but this, this person has um, on their cleavage and up to their like clavicle, quite close to their clavicles, they've got like a star constellation. I don't know what constellation this is called, or maybe it's not even a real one and it could be sort of like a made up one to look like one. And they have like dermals along the actual stars. That's really cool. I don't know whether they're gonna get dermals along the entire thing. I'm not sure, but I think it's unique. It's definitely like something different than what we normally would see. I do think it's quite fun. I do worry about getting loads of dermals like here. To be honest, I have, I do have a look at like a love hate relationship with dermals because I do think they're cool, but I just think Sometimes when you put them in positions like this, I'm like, it's just going to be annoying. But then where else would you put de dermals? The whole point of dermals is to go in unconventional places. Like you wouldn't just get like a dermal on your earlobe. I think to be honest, I would kind of like to get one at some point just so I kind of know what it's like. My brain's like, well, what's the point? But I don't know. I, I kind of do want to get one just to kind of feel the dermal experience. Oh gosh, this person's got corset piercings, but on the hand, we've, I don't think I've ever seen someone get a corset piercing on their hand. I like corset piercings, like just for when you use them for what they actually are, for a photo, for an event, and then you take them out. The idea of having that on your hand and on your wrist, but then because it's here and here, like this part of the hand, and then a bit on the wrist as well, surely you can't bend your wrist? Like can, oh, Izzy, you know. Like surely you can't bend your wrist, like if there's a, if, I don't know, would you be able to do that? Oh, Rowley, shoot my hand. Uh, that was the, what they used to say to me in school all the time. The bullies would be like, Rowley, shoot my hand. Well, and then you would shoot the hand and then they go, puff. So inventive, these bigots. Oh, wow, now that's a, so they've got corset piercings going all the way down their legs. That's something else. I mean, it looks nice. Like actually compared to other like corset ones we've seen, it doesn't look red. It, 
looks like you've like nicely had this and it's kind of like settled down well. Um, and again, like if you're doing this for like just the photos and things that she's just enjoying it like that. Although again, because it's from like two parts of the leg that kind of move individually, I just think to myself, will it pull? Like when you're like actually walking, like what is that gonna feel on your leg? Are you gonna like feel any kind of like tightness or pull? I'm like marching, marching girls, marching girls. Like would you, if you were to do this, like would you feel it? I don't know, like, I mean, because everyone just walks down the street like this. Like, hello, yeah. Ooh. If you didn't know, I am a homosexual. Disgusting. Oh, look at the cat. Look at, oh, that's so cute. Meow, girls. I love that. That's very sweet. I mean, this part of the ear does look really red. I'm assuming maybe this is like new because this part of the ear does look red. But the cat, that's very, very cute. That. I love a good cute little pussy. Oh, pussy. <sighs> Something is wrong with me today. A whole lot of piercings. Oh, it's Rob. Face. And I don't see a septum piercing, <laughs> crying. That's cause it's undercover. It's like, yeah, I gotta unlock it. Take them. That's like you unlock, unlock that, that piercing. Unlock, now reach in there, not picking my nose and picking my septum. Pull it out. Wonderful. It's a, it's a tunnel. Oh, I love it's Rob. It's a half inch septum. I take that out. See my nose. That's where it goes. Right there. Right there. I couldn't imagine having a septum, like stretching a septum, how septum. that it's would undercover. feel. I keep it undercover. Keeps it undercover, girls. I, I love Rob. So I followed him for, I want to say maybe two years. He's been in like videos a few times, but I know that like every six months or so, people obviously don't necessarily watch all the videos. So I, I get this. So I get sent him all the time. I also get sent another guy called Remy a lot as well, but he's also a friend of mine. I kind of always have to kind of explain this like every like six months. So I think people send me people like, like Rob or like Remy and things who have like lots of modifications that expect me to be like, oh my God. I genuinely have no issue with people having loads of piercings. It would be really hypocritical if I was to be like, oh, it's awful. Like that, I have zero issue with people who have loads of piercings who are really heavily modified. My issue is when you don't look after them. You know, you go on the internet and you'll see like someone who has like loads of face piercings and it's all crusty and disgusting. They're like bumps everywhere and they're not taking care of it. And they're like, oh gorgeous. Like that's my issue. People like Rob, people like Remy, these people who clearly Clearly, you, I mean, we can go back. All of his piercings, there is not a single red mark. There's not a single bump. There's literally like, no, like it all looks very well look looked after. Regardless of whether it's my taste or someone else's taste or whatever, that's, that's irrelevant. I love him. I think he's wonderful. He's really funny. And he clearly looks after himself. Oh, wow. So this is like... So they've got, they've got like a coin slot piercing up the top here. We've seen a lot of these, but I really like them. But they've got this really interesting uh, ear weight. It looks like a, a T-Rex's head. That's exciting. That's really cool. We've seen, I mean, we've seen many weights and stuff, but I've never seen one that's like shaped like a T-Rex head. That's, I love that. I do wonder like ear weights. I've never actually tried them myself because my earlobes aren't big enough. Some people do use them as like a stretching method on their ears. I always wonder what that's kind of like, but I don't, like, I don't think this is like pulling down enough that it'd be stretching the ear, but I do, I do think it looks cool. I should also say as well, I've also got some more tattoo work done on my arm here. It's still like in the peeling Healy stage so it does look a bit gross so I'm not really gonna be like disgusting it but if you do see it and it looks a bit like gross it's just the healing process it's very normal oh so we've got an entire like spaced theme yeah this is so oh I, say, I need to stop saying cool am I cool kids no so we have another star here in the Tragus. We saw that star jewelry earlier on. So this is a really nice star uh, jewelry here. They have an alien in the conch. They have like a death piercing. They have an UFO here in the flat with like dangly bits in. They have a rocket up here on the flat as well. And they have a little space planet, a Saturn planet down here on the lobe. And they have some nice opal jewelry in there, a snug piercing and the helix here. This is gorgeous. As I've always said, like, if I had planned mine a lot more when I was younger, I think I probably would have themed my ears better because I kind of just got like piercings everywhere in my ears. There's no real sort of like pattern to them. I love like a themed ear and having this kind of like nebula, space, alien sort of theme. Beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love this. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I do think it's really cool. Future wise, maybe put something along this rim here, but you don't want to overdo it. I think sometimes with, with kind of theme things like this, you don't want to go have too many OTT because I think you kind of lose lose the feel of it, it kind of ends up looking a little bit messy. Uh, so maybe put like something up here, but I don't think you really need to add anything. Or maybe I've just maybe something here in the forward helix. Ooh! So this is the honeycomb shaped industrial. This is the big thing recently, honeycomb stuff. It, I, I don't know if it's maybe, I, I just haven't seen it and now I just happen to be seeing it a lot, but I seem to be seeing this like honeycomb shape coming out a lot. It might be a new thing that seems to be catching on, I don't know. I think with this first bit here, uh, 
I guess if you were to flip it around, because I think to me it looks a bit odd just having these two bits coming out of it with not, not being attached to anything. I think if it was flipped around, so it was like one here, one here, one here, and one here, it would look better if you're going to have these on. On its own like this, I think it looks better. I don't really understand these two bits sticking out here, but I really like this one. It looks really pretty. Oh my God, Electra Snow is quaking. Frog earrings. So we saw actually in the last one, we did see some frog ear cuffs, but we didn't see actual frog earrings. Again, I mean, <laughs> if that's what you want, fine. It's not my taste. <laughs> but ribbit, bitch. I mean, you live your life, girl. That's in I mean, it's interesting, though. It is interesting. It's definitely in its own little niche of earring styles. But um, I mean, that I, I know people like Electra, my friend John, would be like, oh, my God, yes, frogs, girl. He's obsessed with frogs. So he would love this kind of stuff. Oh, gosh. Did I... So I have seen this before, and I don't know if I've put it into a video or not. Have I seen? I ha but I have seen this before. If it's been in a video, I I don't know. I don't know. But I have seen this before. So this person has given themselves a what? I don't know what size it is. Looks maybe like a five or a six uh, millimeter punch through their flat in the top. I actually would actually quite like to get one of these on this side. I've got a, my my conch stretched here to uh, eight millimeters. I would kind of like to get a punch up here. Unfortunately, it's now illegal to do it in the UK. So that's fun. I love punch through or stretched cartilage spaces because it just looks so bizarre because it's so not uh, not so unnatural but kind of it's 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 so unusual to see actual like stretches in cartilage areas i mean i would always probably say don't do it yourself this person's obviously a modifier himself so he knows what he's doing i would always say maybe don't do it yourself but Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, okay, so this we definitely have seen a long time ago. This is a different photo. This isn't the photo that we've seen. This is a different photo. This is def- Although this bit looks a bit irritated. It didn't look irritated when we saw it the first time. Um, but I thought originally that this was a coin slot. But looking at this, this doesn't look like a coin slot. It looks like little piercings. It kind of looks like this is a piercing here with like a double. This is a piercing with a double. And it's sort of like attached to a hoop and not actually going through. I feel scammed. Oh, okay. So we've got a few things. We've got a ladybird in the top of the ear on the flat. We've got a seahorse on the helix. We have a frog inside the conch. And then we have a little T-Rex. Is that a T-Rex dinosaur? One of those little tiny ones. I'm not sure what they're called. The little tiny like... Little tiny ones. Um, that on the bottom, on the upper lobe. This is really sweet. I love this. I love the positioning. It looks really nice. I'm, I'm definitely someone who's like, more is more. But sometimes less is more. And I think the way they've positioned this in the ear, it actually looks really nice. It suits them really well. I love it. I, I really think this is really nice. I love the seahorse. We've not seen a seahorse. We've seen frogs. We've seen frogs. We've not seen a seahorse, which is nice. Or a ladybird which I think is pretty. Again, though, I just really love this unique jewelry that you don't normally get to see. So stuff like this, I really, really like. Oh, okay, so we have a busy ear here. So we've seen some dangly things like this before. We've not seen this kind of one, like a double layered dangle, a jangly wangly out uh, earring here. I do worry about things like this getting caught, especially with like this long chain here as well. I think they look pretty, but the idea of being caught and ripped out just really scares me. I love the skull here on the helix though. That's really pretty. I wonder about how heavy this is. It doesn't look like it's really pulling on the lobe so I don't think it probably is that heavy it's probably not like made out of like heavy material I think it's pretty a lot of this to me just screams I'm gonna get caught and ripped out but I mean if you can live with it without it happening wonderful I think it looks gorgeous I just had this like internal panic of like ripped oh wow okay so this is Have we, we see, thing is we in these videos we see a lot of uh, images of these kind of like really heavily sort of like intense ears it's kind of I, I've, it's hard to remember exactly like what ones I have seen and what ones I haven't. I don't think I've seen this. It looks very busy. I mean, this part here of the ear looks like you've had something reject already. It does look like there's a scar there. Um, I like the cuteness of it. I just think it just needs a tiny bit of editing. It just looks a little bit too cluttered. Like, I just feel like this is, they're kind of on top of each other and it kind of, they feel really crammed inside this little area. Like things just need to be a little bit smaller. It's not so much you've got too many. I just feel like some of the jewelry is just a bit too big. Like this part of the ear doesn't look healthy. It looks like it's being pulled. I do love it and I love the colors. I just think it needs a little bit of editing. It's just a little bit too, like there's too much. It like, it, like it needs to be like scaled back a bit. And to me, when I see this, I just think of a lot of like, dead skin cells getting trapped because they're kind of like stuck in between all the bars and stuff. Oh, this is nice. It's like starry, starry nights. Uh, I like this. So like these two flat piercings, but they have this gorgeous like star jewelry. Again, like compared to like when we saw like the, the dermals that were here with the, the stars. Now we're seeing something like this. I think this is really pretty. I love this. I think it's really, really pretty. I don't have loads to say. 
except for I think it's really pretty, but I, I like it. I really like it. Oh, oh, okay. So, <laughs> first of all, it looks nice. My only thing I have about this is I saw orange and ear and just thought earwax. Now, I know it's unhinged because you're not going to get earwax on the rook piercing or in the flat or in the conch. Like, but like, I don't know. I just saw an ear and just saw orange. It was like, oh, earwax. And I know that's such a weird, and it just, it, the thing is, now actually looking at it, it looks pretty. I love the fact that they've healed their anti-tragus piercing so beautifully. That is not relatable to me. My, uh, my anti-tragus was an absolute... It looks pretty. Everything here looks nicely healed and everything. But that, as soon as I saw orange, I just thought earwax. Oh, okay. So we have another quite full ear. So we've got, let's see what we've got. So we've got an industrial piercing with ENA. I'm assuming that's an initial, someone's initials or some kind of name or something. I'm not sure. Evil, nasty aliens. That's what we're going to say. And it has like a, like a little man dangling here as well. And we've got a double cuffs in the rook piercing. We have, that is a helix piercing, but it's kind of like on the rim. In, it's like it was part of an industrial before, but this is like the lower half of it, and they've just kind of kept the bottom half. They've got some snug piercing that's just been pierced, but there's no, it's just like the the, the, the tube in it. And they have a dead piercing with a really cool, like, like half wing. They've got a double tragus pier a double tragus piercing, a uh, large stretch here in the lobe with two hoops that kind of go into the, into the lobe stretch, which is cool. I love that seeing from like above going into it. That's actually a really cool way to do it. Yeah, I'm really interested actually with what ENA stands for, but also like this here. I wonder like if this a uh, was this like an old piercing because it just looks very close to the edge, like it's gonna come out. I don't know if maybe that was an industrial before and they just changed it. But I like how they've done this. But I really like I do really like how they've got this double uh, upper lobe piercing that kind of goes into the ear stretcher. I love how they've done that. I think it looks really nice. And we don't normally see that kind of stuff. We normally see what I've got. I don't have it at the moment where like the jewelry is inside the stretcher and dangles down, not like above it. That can then kind of goes into the stretcher. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so my housemate would die. He hates crabs. So the idea of having like a crab earring. We've what, I, I feel like it must all be the same account. I'm assuming this is all the same account. We've got a crab, a frog, and a beetle. And it's all like this. I'm assuming it's all from the same account. I don't remember the top of my head. I wasn't I don't really pay attention to the accounts really, to be honest. I'm assuming it's all from the same account. I love crabs. It's weird because I really hate spiders. I think spiders are the most disgusting. Like I hate them. But I love crabs. I think crabs don't look as scary as spiders. I don't know why. Because but they have like the same amount of legs, but something about spiders just make me want to die but crabs i really like them but i mean i wouldn't have a crab earring but I, I i do love this but i i think it's definitely an acquired taste just like the beetle and the frog oh so here is another one so here is another honeycomb so it's a lovely bee my dog stepped on a bee i love this and they have like a bee up here as well in the tragus this is really nice i love the green actually of this you don't normally see like a green color you would expect it to be like uh black and gold but i love the fact they added a bit of a green i like that like different color uh but with the day piercing, it's really nice. Really, really cool. I love this a lot. Oh, a nice little elephant. Oh, that's very cute. That is very cute. Brrr, Dumbo's here, Gail. Uh, I love, I love the elephant. I love this. Again, I don't have loads to say. I just want to just keep saying, I love it, I love it, it's cool. But I, I, I think this is, I, I love the elephant. The elephant, Gail's. Okay, so we have another quite full ear. So let's go down. So they've got like a double industrial piercing. Very jealous. I couldn't even have one. And they've got like a helix piercing here. I, I wonder if they'll get like another one up in here as well to make it symmetrical. Um, and they have a double conch piercing here. It does kind of look like there's a bump on the inside here. So you have to get that fixed. They have a daith piercing, a uh, surface tragus on the side here, a vertical tragus, tragus piercing, an upper lobe. Well, I guess it's kind of two upper lobe piercings, three upper lobe piercings, and two regular upper lobe piercings. This does kind of look like it's going through the ear. So again, watch out for that. I love how they've done this ear though. I love the, like, the beading along the... Um, industrial piercing here very 90s as i already stated you like look out for the bump that's here on the uh, conch piercing and the low piercing that does kind of look like it's coming through your ear but i love the love heart here that's very sweet like a love heart in the middle oh i just love it i think it's really cool the opal jewelry here as well it's gorgeous like the i love opal color like the opal jewelry well guys i'm not aboard the trigger train i'm not falling off the cliff and i'm not plunging to my death and i'm not going by bish and i didn't make a full recovery because i didn't die to begin with but thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'm really happy that you're enjoying this nice, positive Pearson's Gone Right series. I really love making them. As I said before, I kind of just run out of things to say. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know how many more times I can say, that's cool, that's pretty, that's gorgeous. Um, so I try to do them as much as I can, but I do, I, there is a limit.
<laughs> but thank you so much for everyone who does so many things to react to. As I said before, make sure you do go check out my merchandise. I'd really, really love it if you go buy some stuff. Um, I'm, I've got actually some arriving to me soon, so I'm going to wear them in videos and things. So I'm really excited to like, have some brand new merch. It's been such a long time. I think it's been about a year since I've had new merchandise. If there is any other sort of like products you would like me to have like my designs on, please let me know and I'll see what I can do. Streamlabs that I use has a massive variety of products that they do have that I can put stuff onto. So I will try my best to do whatever you like to accommodate what you would like. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, please, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so as any videos that are coming up in the future. I'm also incredibly happy to announce that Gag of the Millennial is back on Thursday. We just filmed a brand new episode of our podcast. I'm really, really excited. Luxaria is finally making her return to YouTube after being away for a couple months. I'm so excited so please keep your eyes up for that also today's twitch shout out goes to foxfur23 thank you for following me over on twitch you wonderful person um thank you for following me and if you would like to be in with the chance of being in next twitch shout out come over to my twitch it's really west we stream three to four nights a week i'm so close now to 10,000 followers so come over come join the fun come join the twitch family a massive shout out to my lovely patrons whose names you can see on the side here thank you thank you thank you for being a patreon you guys are wonderful but an extra special shout out to my top tier patrons ali cooper aurora 666 Benjamin Baker, Bethard Brenner, Kaz.Thom, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, Con Pemberton, Crafty Leaks, Diana Nieder, Heather McFarland, I App, Joanna Kraus, Caitlin Wright, Kelly Bowser, Chloe Louise, Lisa Pennington, Matthew J. Bauer, Petra Silenis, Rachel D. Seabiscuit, Robin Scott, Sam Perfect, and Steph Utech. Thank you for being my top tier Patreons. Ah, if you'd like to be a patron, there's a link down below. Ah, be fabulous, please be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bitch have to say that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are the Lola Scale!